Hello everybody, welcome to RJS Pro Tutorials. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create map series using a strip index tool in RJS Pro. Now, before we get started with the exercise, firstly, let's take a look about the problem. Let's understand what is this strip map index. So, let's suppose we have a path which may be a new road or existing road or any pipeline or water pipe or anything linear and we want to print this map in several maps and uh, we want to use those maps for any uh, survey or any permit or anything that you may need so basically we are going to print all this design all this path design in into separate map in scale 1000 1 by 1000 and uh, here here i have created this strip index and uh, this strip index it is also it, it is related with uh, map series and i have also created 31 pages if you see the 31 is the last one we have the 31 and the first one it starts here from from the south and it stops to the north so basically these are the maps the layout is completely is completely basic it has just the map frame and one uh, one rectangular for having uh, map details like uh, title and uh, legend and stuff and i have also the north arrow to show to show that the maps are dynamic so that means that this frame it is automatically rotated according to the position so if we go to 26 we are already there we see that this is 26 we have 25 and 27 and this shows it horizontally but in fact it is rotated and if we go to 16 or to 15 it will still shows the map canvas horizontal but it is rotated now let's get started with uh, with the, with this exercise and let's create a new map i'm just copying the road path to to the new map by drag and drop it and i will get rid of the first map and the first layout let's insert a new layout and I want to have a A2 layout landscape I'm gonna add a map frame here just a random one and the space for the for the map details Let's have a zoom in to this layer and I'm going to remove my previous feature because we are going to create that feature now. So in the layout there is absolutely nothing, just our layers. We have the map one with our path or our rod and uh, now we are going to expand cartography map series and we have this option strip map index feature so in 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 this uh, in this tool rgis we have to firstly we have to choose our path which is a raw design and uh, then we are, we we are going to activate use page unit and scale in the moment that we activate this, uh, RGIS Pro automatically take the take the dimension exactly as our map frame and the scale exactly as our scale. But we want to print this in 1000, so we we must change this to 1000, and we are gonna leave everything default here. Also, the page orientation will be horizontal and uh, we see the percentage of overlap which will be 
10%, I'm going to modify to 5% because I want to have as less map as possible. The start number will be the number one, it's okay. And the map direction, I want the start from this point. Or let's start from this point. Uh, previously we saw the start from here, but now we are going to start from here. So basically, to start, uh, I, 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 I need to check the start from north to south. If you want to an any another orientation, you have uh, the option to choose. I'm going to leave the first one. And uh, let's run the command. I don't care, it is saved somewhere in a temporary geodatabase. But here you can save that in your in your data working database. And uh, let's run this uh, this tool. Now our our new feature is created and loaded into the same the same map. Uh, I'm going to modify this uh, symbology just to have a better preview preview of it. And also, I'm going to I'm going to show the labels, so we can see and we can have a better preview of the labels. What's going on? Now let's switch to to our uh, map and uh, let's see what's going on. Now we have uh, the same the same uh, indexes, but the start the number one is from the north and the end is, is from the south. Uh, if we open table of attribute, we will see that uh, we have, uh, the, we have uh, several fields here, which is page number, the most important page. Pa is page number, we have the next and the previous if we want to display in our layout. And another important field, it is the angle. The angle will help, help us to, to create the strip layout. So now let's switch to the layout and let's prepare the the map series in the layout. So we switch to map series, we right click to the layout and we we choose spatial. And uh, here we are going to leave everything default so we have uh, we have our our index layer and uh, the map map extent is going to be 1000 and it's going to be fixed. And this is the trick because we will choose as a page rotation, we will choose that field angle that we, we that we saw before. So once we choose angle, all maps will be rotated according to their angle. So now if I click OK, automatically our, our map frame is going to be exactly as our map uh, index so this is the first map and uh, if we switch to number two so we have the number two number one is this one and number three it is this one you can see the the labels here and basically this is the same map series that we saw previously and uh, this is what i wanted to discuss i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, this, uh, this means a lot for me and if you don't uh, like the video, please write me something what you did not like in my video so I will improve in future. Bye.